Hey everyone, you're listening to Nerd Boys Comic Blog. I'm Marco. And I'm Andrea. And today we're doing a news corner. We'll be talking about Batman Ninja, the new anime coming out, mm-hmm. the new Robin costume, Quentin Tarantino Star Trek, Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu, and uh, one final topic at the very end. But let's get into it. Andrea, do you want to start with Batman Ninja? I think it'll be okay. It's not like the worst CGI that I've seen so far. I've seen worse. Yeah. I love Agent. Like when I started reading it as a manga and like it has pretty good story, but Netflix killed it with the CGI. Like it could have been an anime and like it would have been amazing, but CGI just kills a lot of things like Berserk. Um, what other things came out currently that are CGI? There's that one with the old guy who's a robot. That's like the least bad looking CGI so far. I think mm-hmm. I forgot what that one's called actually. Yeah. But I also found out something new recently about the the work of the CGI it was also done by uh, people that worked on uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures openings. Opening one through four are like really really good looking, and Ninja Batman not so much. Uh, it kind of looks it, it's like the in between of Berserk's CGI, like the TV anime Berserk, and um, the JoJo openings. Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of people who also worked on kill a kill and this this is like an entirely anime like japanese crew working on this and it's not like warner brothers animation at all but i do want to bring up something that's a little bit better looking the 2d animated hand-drawn batman of shanghai which came out on dc nation like i think three years ago Mm -hmm. and that was like uh just three shorts that could be tied together and it's like bane catwoman and batman fighting each other and that was like a thousand times better than this trailer I don't know. I didn't see that, I think, so... Oh, that's pretty good. But uh, at the same time, this trailer kind of has some pretty cool designs for uh, Batman, Red Hood, Robin, Nightwing. So I found out who who was the director. The director is Junpei Mizusaki. He's uh, also been known for producing duties on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and uh, including Mega Man X7 hmm. and Mega Man X8. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, but so far from what I liked about JoJo's Bizarre Adventures openings, they're not that bad. Yeah, they're pretty great. I mean, I really liked the third one. I don't know if you worked on that one. The openings for like one through four, which are like the the two openings for the first two seasons, are pretty great. Yeah. 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 I'm like, are you saying part four? Because I don't remember any CGI on part four. No, part four doesn't have CGI, (laughs) but the other three parts do. I was gonna say, yeah, the character designs are pretty great because you got like Japanese versions of the Joker, Catwoman. Yeah, and Harley Quinn. Yeah, I Harley think, Quinn. Right? That's Harley Quinn, right? Alfred right. still looks like a butler, which <laughs> is funny, but I guess he would still look like a butler, even if he was like in feudal Japan. And I'm not really sure if this is like a modern Batman who just went back in time, or if it's like everyone's a feudal Japanese character. No, because he, uh, I think in the trade. Wait, like, are you saying if they're like. Time travel just, or just like it's that universe? Well, I think it might be time travel because he talked about how he didn't have his uh, Batmobile and something else. Oh, yeah, the, the Batwing. Yeah, he's like, I don't have these current things, but I will manage my way. Yeah, and he's not really a ninja. He's a samurai. So I'm very confused. I wonder if this is like Japanese are like, we're going to market it towards the Mir- Americans. What do they like more, samurais or ninjas? Let's go with ninjas. I think they know about ninjas more. Yeah. Who cares if he looks like a samurai? Well, didn't samurai start first? They were like the original ninjas. They're two different things, but... Well, yeah. they were both assassins of some sort. Yeah, kind of. They should have just been called Batman Assassin. Oh, but Batman can't kill. Actually, I wonder if he's going to kill people with his sword. Or if he's just going to cut off Does limbs. he actually have a sword? Have we seen a sword? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be like... I just in, uh... remember, like, my favorite scene was actually the opening one with, like, him, like, reaching out through the mo- uh, smoke. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, that doesn't look bad. I wonder why people are critiquing it so badly. It's not berserk. <laughs> it looks pretty good. It's all I right. I'm never gonna hear some like heavy metal thunks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Thunk. laughs> I wonder if he's gonna have bad rings or if he's using like a, a samurai sword, but it's like still in the sheath. And he's like, ah, I have my one rule: not to kill. Batman doesn't kill. He, in some interpretations, he doesn't kill. In others. Well, current. Let's use current oh, Batman. Yeah. Does In the he comics? kill? No, he doesn't kill. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he's not really a murderer, unlike the uh, Zack Snyder movies. But yeah, Batman Ninja is probably gonna be like uh, okay. I know they're gonna maybe make a lot of. Maybe it's not calling Batman a ninja. Maybe there's something else going on there. Maybe maybe he's just fighting a bunch of ninjas. Oh, the Joker. Maybe the Joker is the ninja. If you remember, like the little smoke. I think 
the Joker was like, he used this a bomb that's no like a smoke bomb. Oh, like the Joker gas. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Maybe. So maybe the Joker's the ninja. Maybe everyone's the ninja. You've been all fooled by the title. Maybe the real ninja is the friends we made along the way. What? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, Batman Ninja. It'll probably just be all right. I know a lot of toys are going to be sold. I bet. That a lot of statues are going to come out and be like, straight from the anime. I hope there's a good Harley Quinn one, but I'm probably not going to like it. Yeah. I don't like any Harley Quinn costumes. You'll still probably want to buy it. Uh, maybe. But while we're on the topic of Batman, do you want to talk about uh, the new Robin costume? Ugh. I like my Robins, all of them, even the girl ones. Like Stephanie, right? That's her name. Yes. Yeah, God dang it! How, how can I say I'm a fan if I can't like I keep forgetting their names? It's Stephanie. There's a uh, Carrie. There's a uh, Todd. There's Dick. There's Tim. There's Damien. Damien and Damien is annoying little prick. Well, all of them are annoying little pricks in their own ways. <laughs> but that one's the worst. But everybody loves him. I don't know why. Oh, there's some people who hate Damien. But the new costume from... Uh, I don't like it. That's what my point was. Oh, you don't was like the costume? I'm really close. Well, I like every costume they've had before. But this one looks really weird. Maybe I need to look at it again. Can you can you pull it up? On the screen right now, it's going to be showing. But the uh, the new Robin costume from Titans, it's kind of... Um, instead of being like rubbery latex, it's, it's this uh, kind of... It looks like a cosplay. But like a really practical cosplay. And it's got like the the sharp R on the chest, so it's kind of like Tim Drake's. It's kind of um. Have they named which Robin it's gonna be? Oh uh, yeah, so I think it's gonna be the uh, Dick Grayson Robin. At least that's what I thought it was gonna be. You know what? Maybe I do like the costume. You know what I don't like is the actor in the costume. You know what? That yeah, that's probably it. It's it's this guy who's like. He doesn't look young and he doesn't look old. Yeah. And his so face confused. is really covered in shadow, so you can't really tell what, what's so going on there. So, if this is, is this the one that's gonna, which he, Robin is? He's gonna is? be in the Titan show. Okay. I know it's gonna be. There's no crossover, right? There's no connection with the other ones, right? No, I, I don't think there's gonna be anything for like CW or anything like that. This is. Or like going, the movies. No, no, right? it's directly for the CW, not the CW. It's directly for the the DC streaming service. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be its so own. So is it gonna be like a different universe? It's probably a different universe than the Arrowverse, which is like all the CW shows. You got Arrow, Flash, Legends, Supergirl, Black Lightning, and, di- and different from the Zack Snyder movies. Yeah, it's it's its own thing. It's all separate. It's gonna have Raven, Beast Boy, uh, Starfire is gonna be in it. I like. We still don't know which. which it's Dick Grayson. They it said, is. Yeah, it's Dick. But his costume. He looks is- like a like. An 18 year old drunk version of him. Like, he's like been drinking his weight and shit. <laughs> Maybe. <I laughs> like, mean, Bruce never taught me anything. He like smashes a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And that haircut. Yeah. It's... What kind of. I mean, like, I'm sorry, but if you are the director of this show, you should say to your actors, this is the appearance I want you to have. Not let your actors be like, well, this is my hairdo and I need to look fabulous outside of the show. No, tell them to cut their hair. I think what they're going for is like Robin pre-Nightwing. So he's like just on the cusp of becoming Nightwing and like maybe season finale, he's going to bust out the Nightwing costume. But right now it looks like the Tim Drake costume. It even has like the staff. So Scott. probably they're introducing him then just to like pass pass on the... On the mantle? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe. But I think it's like, I, th- I think they just don't want to go with the old Dick Grayson costume, which is like the shorts, the little flimsy cape. But what I mean is like, look at the actor and do you really see him being Robin? He looks better than the Chris O'Donnell Robin from like Batman Forever. But he doesn't look as good as... I know but a lot of people... what I'm saying is... Yeah. Robin is the youngest one among the Titans. No, he's not. He's yeah. the oldest. He, no, he's this, not. This one is the oldest. Okay, Dick is already like 18, 19 by the time the uh, the Titans that we know... Which version of the Titans are we talking about? Uh, 80s Teen Titans. Like the one I grew up with my Superboy? No, no, no. The the 80s Teen Titans. So 80s. it's like the team with uh, Cyborg. Oh, okay, okay, Rob. okay. So by that time, Dick already was separated from Batman. He's like 18, 19 or whatever. And he's the oldest. He's like 
so old he's barely even a teen titan uh, like he's 18 yeah and i'm sure in this one that they're the titans so none of them are going to be teens maybe beast boy's a teen maybe raven's a teen but everyone's going to be older do you think they'll use like current or old i know that you said that it's kind of like the old ones but well it's going to be an amalgam because it's going to have like um raven starfire beast boy uh no cyborg because he's a justice league member now they could Robin. probably introduce him later. Maybe. It's happened before. Yeah, I think uh, Hawk and Dove are going to be in it. Maybe some Other cameos. Other character. There's going to be some cameos throughout the season, but yeah. They're definitely going for like an amalgam of everything. I don't like it. I actually just don't. I don't think I'm going to like it. Just like I don't like how Runaways is coming out. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of impartial. I like the costume. I don't really like the actor, but I'm like, I'll suck it up and just watch the show. Oh, I mean, I'll watch it, but I'll probably hate it. Yeah. That's always my... It's it's kind of like that thought of, like, uh, you're guilty until a proven innocent or innocent until proven guilty. I just think everybody's guilty until innocent. So everything's horrible until it's probably good. Oh, so you have the Japanese court system? What's that? Oh, uh, in Japanese courts, you're guilty until proven innocent. Ah. Yeah, that's why in every Japanese anime, everyone run, runs away from the cops. Because, like, if you're arrested, 99% of the time you're convicted. Is that why it happened and erased? Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. Everyone was complaining, why is he running away from the cops? It's because he's probably going to go to jail no matter what. But, uh, speaking of jail and, you know, stuff... <laughs> that makes no sense. Anyway, perfect segue. Quentin Tarantino is doing an R-rated Star Trek reboot. I don't think it's going to go very well. I think it's going to go... Just fine. Okay, no, you're just saying that because you are a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. I mean, like, I barely moved him. He was like, hey, that, that, what was it called? Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight just came out, and we're going to go watch it. And it's, like, not showing in that many places. And we had to go see it at this, our one of our favorite little mini theaters that was putting on a big show about on it. Yeah. So he's like, we're going to go watch it at midnight. And I was like, oh, God. No. In 70 millimeter. Oh, my God. Yeah. And we watched it, and I hated it. <laughs> it well, made my guts turn, and a lot of people's guts bleed out. A- anyway, Star Trek and Quentin Tarantino don't go that well together. Not at first, if you think about it. Well, not know- only think about it, like, both of it working together. Do, do you really see Quentin Tarantino and Star Trek working as one? Not with, like, the current movies, or not with, like, anything Star Trek before, but if we go for, like, a different approach to Star Trek, I'm not talking about, like, Discovery, where it's, like, everything's so weird and different, and nobody likes it. I'm talking about doing, like, a new crew, a new starship, a new timeline, or not timeline, but new time period, and going for... Like, not using Kirk's? Yeah, don't use Kirk's crew, because... I don't want to see them, like, just... What about the other one? Uh, what, TNG? No, the other one besides Kirk, what's... who? Oh, uh, TNG. It's Picard and the uh, the Enterprise. Yeah, I'm not a huge Star Trek fan. I hope you guys know that. Oh, well, I've I've... loved Star Trek since before I loved Star Wars. (laughs) Yeah, I know. He used to sing the theme song when he was a kid. Yeah, I would, and... (laughs) Yeah, that's that's another story for another time. (laughs) When we talk about something Star Trek related... But I think we were talking about this earlier, and I asked you, can you think of a Quentin Tarantino movie that isn't that doesn't feel like a Quentin Tarantino movie? Uh, no, they all have like a, a signature style to them. It's like dialogue heavy, tension building up into like a bloody climax, or sometimes like yeah, like I I can only think of uh, He Fo uh, and then um, Kill Bill. There was another movie that I've seen. Django. I didn't see that one. Uh, Maybe those are the only two I've seen. No, I've seen other ones. But my point is, they all end up bloody gory, shooting and cussing at each other. Do you really see a Star Trek movie like that? I don't know. It's gonna. They did say this is R-rated, so I'm thinking they're probably gonna go the bloody route. Mm-hmm. And I can kind of see like they're a, all gonna have a Western talk to them. Yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> He might as well just do Firefly in space. That's closer to his style. I would have been okay with that. Yeah. As it, long as they had Nathan Fillion. <laughs> oh, like a... Passing on the mantle or something like that. That'd be weird, though. Like uh-huh. like a Firefly sequel directed by Quentin Tarantino. But then it wouldn't be like as like Joss Whedon. You've never seen Firefly, have you? No, I've never seen Firefly. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. It's 
pretty huge on on dialogue yeah yeah well i'm saying quentin would add his own signature thing of like everyone's gonna make references to such and such thing and yeah. there's gonna be subtle references to cinema. you know who would be cool to direct that, uh, like if firefly ever came back but if it were a movie who was the director for kingsman matthew vaughn that would have been great yeah and he could have done like a great sequel to uh the kelvin timeline but I don't really think Quentin's doing the Kelvin timeline. I think he's doing uh, his own thing. It could be Prime, it could be Kelvin, but it's going to be a different crew, different starship, uh, maybe someplace in between the original series and TNG, mm-hmm. and just do like a weird space story that's like set in the Star Trek universe. So you have. You, I can understand that. Like, don't use the main ones because you're just going to hurt Star Trek fans. Yeah. You're just going to hurt their feelings and they're going to hate you for the rest of your life. I feel like he should, like, create his own little group and they're all just going to die at the end. Maybe. It could be, like, the the one, the new movie that just came out. Was it the new movie that just came out? Star Trek Beyond? Was it that one? Where they meet the girl with the silver hair? I think so. Yeah, right? The shit that landed there, everybody died? Yeah. It could be something like that. It could be. You know what? Just continue the Kelvin timeline. Make it, like, a, a crossover with the Mirror Universe. Have the Mirror... Oh! Just set the movie in the mirror universe. Just set the movie on fire. <laughs> just set the movie on fire. That's all. I don't know. I like the... Just don't use the main character. I like the idea of Quentin using, like, Star Trek stuff in his own movie. I don't know. What if he goes in, like, the way, way past before, like, any of the Star Trek characters that we know of? So, like, Enterprise? Where it's just, like, early Federation stuff? Sure. Mm, maybe. But then, like, I also feel bad because we, we've never explored anything past Star Trek Nemesis. I would really like to see what happens later on in the future. You have to go into the past to continue the future. No, we, we've been stuck in the past forever because we have the reboot, which just redoes the original series. We have Do it like Discovery. Star Wars did. <laughs> Put out episode seven and then go to Rogue One. <laughs> and that didn't work out that well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just thought that was funny. Do something after Nemesis, like Quinn can totally do like a, a team of explorers get totally brutally murdered on a planet, something like that. Yeah, I, I can't put much input into this because I'm not, I don't really know yeah. this topic very well. I don't know. I, so I, I'm just like goofing around with this subject and making Marco mad by saying Quentin Tarantino and Star Trek don't work. <laughs> I, they don't at like first glance, but like you could, you don't know. He's never done sci-fi before. He's done westerns. He's done kung fu dramas. He's done crime dramas. He's done revenge. He's done a bunch of bloody, gory movies. I don't know. I just he's feel- done a war movie. Okay, I just feel like some directors should not be directing certain movies. Yeah, that's my feel this year. <laughs> You do have a lot of that going on. You're like, eh, some directors shouldn't touch some things. Like Zack Snyder. Yeah, that was that was a big thing. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if there's any, like, Zack Snyder fans, like, of directing. Yeah. Also, Star nice. Trek fans, let us know in the comments, what do you think of Quentin Tarantino directing Star Trek? Like, a new reboot. Tell me you agree with me, or tell me you agree with Marco. Tell me you're fascinated at the idea, <laughs> but are very, you know cautious of like what what might happen or actually let me know more about star uh, star trek because i don't know a lot i mean i've tried to explain it to her but then she always gets mad and throws stuff at me because he uses a lot of words that i don't understand so i just kind of derailed like what i'm doing right now oh okay <laughs> yeah uh so on to something a little bit lighter uh-huh. let's talk about pikachu oh my god Let's talk about a, a little. Let's talk about a little Nintendo movie that's going to come out called Detective Pikachu. It's a movie. Yes, it's a movie. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a game. I thought it was a game. Oh, it's both. Okay. There's a game, but there's also going to be a movie. <laughs> okay, so Marco explained to me in the train that Ryan Reynolds was casted for Pikachu, and I l- immediately started laughing when we were on the train. So like people were looking at me like I was a crazy person. And I thought it was funny because I kept picturing Ryan Reynolds like say like his lines from um, Deadpool. And Deadpool and um, what's that new movie that we watched? this year uh, oh bodyguard uh, yeah the hitman's bodyguard <laughs> <laughs> he literally killed the word motherfucker for me <laughs> i don't know this is definitely like gonna be a, a weird a weird <laughs> I can movie only imagine him saying deadpool lines oh my god sorry that's okay <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I love Ryan Reynolds, but <laughs> as Pikachu, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, he might be doing it for his kids. He's probably doing it for his kids. Wait, how old are his kids? Uh, one's like a newborn. The other is about like uh, infant, not infant, uh, toddler age. They can't see Deadpool, can they? No. Nah. Yeah, so but they it's could, probably a good thing they can see Pikachu. They could probably watch Detective Pikachu <laughs> and be like, oh, our dad does cool stuff. <laughs> he does other cooler stuff, but he, you can't watch it yet. No, not yet. But yeah, Pikachu is definitely one of those things he's probably doing for his new kids, or not new kids, but like his children who are a lot younger than, you know, the Deadpool crowd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you could probably imagine Ryan Reynolds doing more animated stuff later on. Would you watch it? I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'm kind of disappointed Danny DeVito is not going to do it. <laughs> I am not a man. I am an animal! <laughs> I'm just imagining that line over and over and over again. It's yeah. funny. A few actors that they had kind of uh, in the running were also Hugh Jackman. <laughs> so you have either Wolverine or Deadpool playing Pikachu. <laughs> Danny DeVito never auditioned. He actually turned down the audition. Even though there was, like, fan petitions to have him voice Pikachu, he was like, I don't want to do it. So he had, um... What does he do with his life? Danny DeVito? Yeah. I think he's still doing Sunny. It's always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh Uh-huh. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's preoccupied with that or whatever he's doing. Mm -hmm. Maybe just being, like, a cool guy somewhere. Or maybe being, like, a, a weirdo. Maybe he likes hanging out at bars. Yeah. Maybe they wouldn't let him record in a bar. (laughs) <laughs> so they're just like, okay, we'll go for Ryan Reynolds. He's kid-friendly, right? <laughs> no, I, don't, I can't think of a single kid-friendly Ryan Reynolds movie, except maybe Green Lantern. But then your kids would probably hate you after watching that. <laughs> it's like, Dad, you made some shitty movies. It's like, oh, yeah, don't worry. I made it up for it with Deadpool and Deadpool 2, which actually might not turn out the way everyone's hoping. You know, I've never seen the Green Lantern movie, so what else has Ryan Reynolds been in? Van Wilder. Uh, he's done a bunch of body switch movies, body swap movies, like um, Selfless with, uh, what's his name? Yeah. I'm ben Kingsley. Yeah. And then he also did another body switch movie with uh, the other guy, Jason Bateman. He's in a lot of body switch movies. I have no idea why everyone typecast um, Ryan Reynolds as a body switch comedian, but whatever. Oh, he's also been in the Amityville Horror remake. But that's about as much as I know of the, the filmography of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> he's been a pretty boy, he's been like a comedian, he's been Deadpool, and now he's Pikachu. He's, he's expanding his range he's actually from f- body swapping. <laughs> what if this is Ryan Reynolds and he's gonna switch buys with the Pikachu? <laughs> and then he's like, well, I'll, I'll just- <laughs> Damn it, not again! <laughs> I'm gonna continue my career as a detective but I'm a Pikachu now. Pika! And no one understands him, except for his kids in the movie. It's like, don't worry, Dad, we'll help you solve the crime. Oh, adorable. But it's their mother's murder, that's the crime. Oh, no. Why'd you make this sad? Why'd you gotta do that, Mark? I went there. (laughs) Enough of Detective Pikachu. (laughs) Enough of this movie that, hypothetically, is not gonna be a crime drama about a murdered mother. On to our last topic. What's the last topic? The last topic. It's going to be the whole deal with uh, Fox and Disney. It's kind of coming to a head now. It's going to happen. It's it's coming to a close this week. And apparently next week is the big announcement on whether or not we're actually getting our uh, cohesive Marvel Universe with X-Men and Avengers characters and Fantastic Four. It's going to happen. It might happen. We don't know for sure yet. It's going to happen. It's probably going to happen. And I'm very excited. But until the announcement comes, I won't Because I want them it. to recast everybody. Except Wolverine. And Deadpool. But do you know what that means? Hugh Jackman being in the next Avengers. Because he said he wanted to. He said only as long as Fox like finally gives them to Marvel and everything. So, ah, can you imagine that? I can imagine that, yeah. It's something everyone's been hoping for. Everyone was hoping that Fox would either fail Even so badly actors. that they <laughs> sold the rights back to Marvel. Or Disney just bought the whole company and was like we'll use them fox please just give in and yeah. marvel please keep doing a good job this is one of the reasons in humans was like pushed back forever because everyone's like we're really just pushing back in humans hoping that we can fill that slot with x-men or like we're pushing the release date back for infinity war part two so we can like have enough time to buy the rights from fox everyone was wondering how is infinity war going to end it's probably going to end with the X-Men and Fantastic Four coming out of nowhere. And, like, the universe is fusing together. Yeah. 
Secret Wars? Maybe Secret Wars. Oh. See, I don't know the old Secret Wars. I only know the current Secret Wars. Yeah. Well, even in the old Secret Wars, it was like Avengers, X-Men, Spider-Man, the Hulk, all the characters in like one giant fighting arena. Well, not arena, but a but fighting But can you planet. imagine that? Like, that could be the thing. Like, I think Fox and Marvel are going to work out. I think something's going to happen and they're just going to be okay. Like, the green light. They're good. They're one thing now. But can you imagine what they can go from there now? Like, they can do anything. They could. They could do... Before well, they do, like, an Avengers versus X-Men movie. No, that's not... I don't even care about that. I mean, yeah. that would be great, but I don't even care about that. I mean, like, if they did, like, kind of like a Secret War thing, it could be, like, tied into, like, Thanos having all the stones and everything. Uh-huh. And just, like, mashing all the worlds. And he's like, I'm just doing this for fun now. Watching you guys, like, destroy each other. Yeah, like, Thanos is like, let me get some characters from this universe. Fight the Avengers. It just be so great. And then everyone just kind of ends up in the same Earth. And everything's just one cohesive Marvel Universe. And then we just get more movies and other directors. Yeah, and then Phase 4 is entirely based on mutants or the Fantastic Four. And then we build up to Avengers 5, which is Galactus or Doctor Doom. Yes. It could be so much greater. I'm excited. Yeah. And they did say they won't reveal the title for 4 because it's a spoiler. So maybe Secret Wars is the secret title. Yes. I think Marvel is like, is like we're, we're getting this. Yeah. We're doing it. This deal was in the works for quite a while. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Also, Sony, we'll take Spider-Man back now. You had your chance. Can they just sell him back? Just, just like, give him up. Because we all know your Venom movie is going to be shit. And your, what was the other one? Oh, it's Silver Sable and Black Cat. Yeah, also, it's shit. It's gonna turn to shit. It's, you, you Morbius, can, the living vampire. Your guys are gonna get, like, the horriblest actors and directors, and it's all gonna turn to shit. Sony is terrible at mismanaging <laughs> all <You're> their... horrible. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Sony's really bad at managing all their properties. And Fox, too, lately, uh, they've been really bad at mis- uh, managing the Alien series. The Predator movie's probably gonna be really bad. Uh, a lot of stuff is going to go to Disney and they're probably going to like, you know, workshop it a bit and make everything better. Maybe mm-hmm. do a better Alien vs. Predator movie. And now this deal technically Disney would own the rights or at least the TV rights to Batman because Fox is doing Gotham. Wait, wait, wait. Re-explain that to me. So in this deal, Disney is pretty much buying all of Fox's uh, TV and movie stuff. Okay. So Fox owns the TV rights to Batman. Therefore, Disney through this deal would buy the TV rights to Batman. Do you really think that's going to be the deal? Like, that's actually on on the table. Well, it's going to be one of the things that they would absorb naturally through buying Fox. So, like, the deal is actually buying all of Fox. Everything except for the news and the sports. Yeah. So Fox is going to be like Fox News. Disney, stay away from that stuff. Yeah, we don't need Fox News, Fox Sports. We just want the the TV and movie stuff. Yeah. So we get Firefly. That's going to go to... (laughs) Uh, what else happened? I, you had me at Firefly. I don't care about anything yeah. else. Oh, also, another thing that kind of would motivate this. Fox does own the distribution rights to the original six Star Wars movies. Okay. So now, because of this, like Disney hasn't really been able to do a, a big re-release of the original Star Wars movies unedited. The special editions, uh-huh. we can kind of like forget about those and like re-release the original cuts. Uh-huh. Since Disney owns Lucasfilm and Lucasfilm owns the originals. Uh-huh. I think we can like this year was the 40th anniversary and it would have been great if we had like Blu-ray releases of the uh, the originals. originals. But we didn't. We had still the special edition. Now maybe mm, two or five years from now, do a re-release and it's all the original cuts like unedited un special edition but like on ultra hd so you get like the original trilogy and it looks the way it's supposed to without any extra cgi monsters or like weird cantina bands or weird (laughs) java palace dance numbers it's just gonna be that and no no at the end of episode six because in the end of episode six george lucas added a no from darth vader where he throws the emperor over the thing Mm -hmm. in like 2011 or 10 there's a a re-release and he adds like this weird no james earl jones just shouts no when throwing the emperor over the the freaking death star no yeah it's terrible yeah it's kind of like that (laughs) 
<laughs> so Disney had a lot of reasons to kind of want to buy Fox because they would own a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I could see why. But this isn't really a for sure thing. Like, we're getting the final announcement next week. What day? Next week is the earliest they would announce it. But I this they also kind of want to buy it by the end of the year. Because I think, like, you know, quarterly reports and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense to just buy Fox this year. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Disney. Well, actually, the deal already closed. We just don't know the answer. It's then a, why would they hide it? Think a, about it. To make a cool announcement about next week. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, if it fell through, they wouldn't have to hide it. Oh, okay. That's a good point. They'd Unless just be like, oh, yeah. It's, it's a done deal. But that's enough speculation for right now. Should we end out the podcast right now? I guess. I guess we're going to end out the podcast. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, you can always leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Marco. And I'm Andrea. We'll see Bye. you guys next time. Peace. Peace.